Hi friends, let's start with our series of solving hacker rank problems on data structure. Today we are going to solve linked list in which the problem statement is given as print the element of a linked list. So the problem statement is pretty basic. So first there is some basic knowledge of linked list. But for the knowledge of linked list I would ask you to go some tutorials because this is not the area. I am not going to teach you data structure. So this is going to be the head. And this head is going to be pointing to some other values. Okay, so this area would contain the data of the linked list. This point would con co contain the data and this would be this would contain some address pointer to the next element of the linked list. Address I cannot write PO I N so this would contain the address pointer to the next element. This is the head and the last element the address pointer would automatically or not automatically would be null so that it does not refer to reference to the next element. So because there are no next element present in this linked list. So this is the basic idea of that linked list. So in linked list this is very easier to add or delete an elements because of the simple reason that just to add a limit, you just change the address references rather than shifting all the elements to the to the one step to the left hand side. And same goes for adding those elements. And also there is another form of linked list present which is called double linked list. So which references both uh, both to the previous and the uh, both to the previous and the next element. So th that would be a double linked list which is also quite helpful in Python when you're using python language you don't know, do not have to understand the intricate detail of that linked list because there is already an data type or data type called list which does all the thing in hand so you don't have to write this code of linked list but just for the references how the inner workings happens it's generally essential for you to understand that so this is a basic concept of linked list uh, here the code we, in this code we have to print all the elements of that linked list which is quite easy so first we need to understand the python code that has been written as you can see this python code is not editable so this code is not editable so the code that we have to write should uh, sh uh, should be should should reference to this one so this is the basic idea because if this code was editable the basic normal people would have just used list and that would make it more easier but anyway i think in this list there is a class called single linked list and there is a, they are initializing with init function initializing the data and the next element and also a class called single linked list uh, the, the first class is called single linked list node and the second class is called single linked list in which also the, the initializing head tail in, uh, and inside is also there is also a function called insert node there is no delete node function as of yet maybe in the next problems there would be so we have to print the elements so first step would be printing the head means the data present in the head so as you could see there is also given here single linked list node there is called int function means data and single linked list node next which is basically refer to the next element so head dot data and we have to write a while statement so that we will be looping through those elements until null value is reached so while head dot data 
not equal to null but in python it null is called none so it would be none then we'll be printing the next element print head dot next dot data and we've been again initializing head with the next element head equal to head dot next let's run the code So it passed all the test cases successfully the error that we have done is that we have initialized with head dot data that is not right it should be head dot next because basically head would have some data so next element may or may not have any reference means any address pointer referencing to the next element so this is the basic idea i would submit the code and as you could see it passed all the test cases so thanks for watching this video do subscribe to the channel and also send me your feedback so that i could improve on the next videos and please comment below and thanks for watching stay tuned